the cartoon guy to chemistry. Let's get this started with if a video o two chemical reactions. See the reactions and matters in the state. Let's go back to matter. Now chemical reactions are awesome. In fact, it's just how elements interact with each other. In fact, here are some chemical reactions you can do. I would do the baking soda vinegar experiment myself, but we have no baking soda and the vinegar. Why? Why? But anyways, that happens. And then there are other ex experiments that you can do that doesn't require much. Everyone would probably have these if they have a home. To be honest, I don't have what a lot of people have in their home. Well, whatever. You can just... Well, here's one fun experiment you can do about chemical reactions. You can just go home, get a lighter, and turn it on. That's a chemical reaction. And then, one more thing you do. Take a book that you do not enjoy. And in front of your parents, take out the lighter and burn the book. Well, that's also a chemical reaction, but I'm not sure you would like it too, because it's not going to help you much. And that's a fact. Other than the fact that it will help you enjoy stuff and start enjoying your parents' go like, gopping, ga like gaping when they realize their favorite textbook that they use at school is being burnt to ashes right now, and they have no idea how to react to this rebellious kid. Okay, don't be, don't do that, to be honest. And then next, we actually have to talk about these chemical reactions. Now, chemical reactions come in different ways. One, they can be boom and fizz up, which is also why pop has been created. This isn't pop, this is just water. And chemical reactions can be used to create different liquids too, like dihydrogen, dihydrogen oxide, aka plain old water. And also because of chemical reactions, though we can create the see-through plastic here and this unsee-through plastic bottle cap that we have with the word cisbon on it. Yes, this is a yeah, I'm not, yeah. It's because of this, like all these chemical reactions, that we can create phones. We can create old laptops, and the only reason why it's vertical is because of the charger. My glasses that let me see clearly. My hat. I'm not gonna take it off, so do not, don't you dare. This stuff, my jacket, these clothes, everything else. Yeah, because of chemical reactions. In fact, chemical reactions have been happening since the beginning of time. Well, at least as we think it's the beginning of time. Maybe there's a big bounce that we don't know, and that could have been the universe is endless. But hey, I don't, I don't actually enjoy that myself, to be honest. And then we also have heat of reaction. Now, he's a reaction. All reactions release energy in one form or another. And most of some of that energy will always have to turn into heat. That's something bad about people. So that's something bad about the universe. All reactions, whatever you do, whatever, if you're going to use energy, some of it has to be released as heat. Sometimes all of our chemical equipment, all of our electrical appliances, they're all snap short. They do their job perfectly. But some of them completely use heat. Half of the energy, or three quarters of the energy that some electric uh, appliances actually use is just used to go ahead and create heat. It's just that you need to put in this much energy so that this much will go out as heat, and this much is the amount that you need to use. And it's also the reason why things start getting a bit more expensive when you use them much. Yeah, that's bad for your bills. And this is the heat of reaction. I mean, sure, when you rub your hands together, it creates friction and creates heat. When you shake this a much, it feels cold, but it's actually just absorbing heat. Either than that, or it's just releasing heat. Very, very, very tiny amounts of it. So it's, we feel it as coldness. Metals are good conductors of heat, which is why they'll heat up pretty fast, but they won't melt that high. And yeah. And last but not least, matters in the state. Now, I can actually show you matters in the state. If I had time, but I don't really, I'm, but it's like 921 right now. Oh, that's like actually a good number, 2121. And yeah, I don't want to go ahead and hassle of like one hour of heating up ice. No, I don't want to do that. But you can do that at home. Just grab a piece of ice cube, chop it into a flat pan, start recording a time lapse, and wait for it to melt, then for it to boil, and then do everything again by just putting up a lid while it's still boiling. And then, and then turn it off, put it in the fridge, and the ice mold, and boom, you got ice. And nice. I'm oh, sorry. Nice. Nice. And that's pretty much it. Matters in the state. Solids, liquids, gases. Technically, there's a fourth state, too. Solids are just like things that are so compressed together, the atoms are compressed together. Not that compressed, to be honest. They're just touching together very tightly that they can't actually move that much. All they can do is just jitter around a bit, which is also the reason why sound travels through solids fastest. Liquids are like. If sol oh, like, let me give you an analogy. If solids particles were armies were very were very 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 strict, 
then liquids would just be that whole entire army being a bit drunk. Do you get me there? No? Well, yeah. When you drink, apparently this is according to the information I got from my dad, but hey, it's my dad, and then that happens, and like when you drink wine or beer apparently, you get hot. Is that right? Right? Yes? Yeah, well, that happens, and then apparently those particles go ahead and jitter up. It's like adding heat to the energy. It's like drinking the beer or wine, and then uh, the particles are people, and then the people eventually they lose their minds a little bit. At least they're a little uh, less sane. Let's just put it that way. And then they go ahead and jitter around. Sure, they're still links, but hey, unless they drink more wine, aka put in more heat to the particles, then they'll just disband together and they'll get a really, 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 really angry general. Yeah, and that's about it. Matters in state. Of course, there's a fourth state of matter that lots of people don't really talk about, but it's a, it's just ionized gas, and no one needs to know about that. Only like experimental chemists who want to go ahead and talk about this thing will know. But every other day, physics, like chemists, physicists, they don't have to worry about this at all. Never, never in their lives will you have to think about plasma, unless you accidentally create some in your in in in, in your microwave and cease to have a microwave, which is bad for your bills. See ya, Shana. Peace.